Welcome to Bear Ranch. I'm Dr. Matt. These are two little Shizu puppies that are not doing very good. Um, they were rescued from a puppy mill situation that wasn't taking very good care of them. Um, they had another one with them, a little sister, and she died last night. Uh, but they brought them to me today, and this one especially is doing pretty bad. Um, they both look like this when we first got them. I gave them fluids a couple hours ago. Um, it perked both of them up. You can imagine how lethargic this one was before, but um, neither one of them was walking around, so I'm happy to see that one of them's already starting to perk up a little bit. But um, they have skin infections on their bellies. And this one might be worse. Um, but just really nasty, blistery, scabby skin. And um, their gums are super pale white, meaning that they are anemic. They don't have very much blood, red blood cells circulating through their body. So that'll make them a lot sicker too. That can be from infection or um, parasites. So we're going to treat for all the above. We're, we're giving some dewormer, we're giving them antibiotics, and basically just supportive care. I gave them fluid under the skins earlier. Now I'm going to see if they have any interest in food at all. This one for sure won't. Um, the big one may. Well, the one who's standing up. What? He's eating. They're two little boys. And this one, I'm just going to syringe him some water, see if we can kind of perk him up. Some water with some food in it. But this one's eating good, isn't he? Open up. Is all the medicine? His food. Huh? That's his food. It's not medicine. Oh, that's water and food. Mm-hmm. Make him feel better. Little puppies like this, it's really easy for them to get low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, and they can die from it pretty easily. So that's why you want to keep giving them food like this to eat to raise their blood sugar up. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll just keep you updated. Um, this one is pretty critical right now. And we're basically just giving him supportive care, and hopefully he'll kind of beat what's taking him down right now. And uh, we'll keep you updated and let you know how they're doing over the next couple of days. I think he loves you. Think so? Yeah. Yeah. Why are you squirting, squirting water and food in there? Because he's sick and he's not going to eat it by himself. Oh, is he going to drink water? I hope he will by himself, but he's not going to drink it right now, so we have to help him. About an hour after I filmed the last update video, the little puppy who wasn't doing well went ahead and passed away. Um, I tried giving him sugar, kind of bring him back, but he just kept going down. Um, so today, I'm messing with this one, and he seems a little more lethargic than yesterday, and I noticed that a lot of his hair is coming out. Um, we gave him a bath earlier, and, and then I started wondering... Um, if he has mange, and I already showed you these ears, I thought it was just a staph infection, but there's, they're really crusty. Once we got the bath, once we got him a bath, we could kind of see a little better. So I scraped him, and he has sarcoptic mange, um, which is contagious to people, and uh, we'll really do a number on puppies. So I'm going to start him on some meds, give him a little shot, which will start um, fixing him up from this mange, and uh, just continue supportive care over the next few days. And the mange usually takes a couple weeks to really clear it out. So. Um, he's still got a long road ahead of him, but we're going to keep helping him along the way. Alright, it's been a few more days. We went ahead and shaved little Mangy Max here because his scabs were so nasty and we kind of wanted to get a better look. Um, once we got all the hair off his face, we noticed this eye, let's see if I can get y'all to see it, has a big ulcer right in the middle of it. There's no way he can see out of it right now and I don't know that he'll ever have a functioning eye on that side. We're just treating it with antibiotics, giving it a chance to heal up, um, but it will likely need to be removed eventually. After we shaved him, we also realized that he has a hernia right here, just a little bump sticking out, a little umbilical hernia. That will probably need to be fixed someday too. And also his tail, I'm pretty sure this skin is all dead. Right here is healthy skin, back to about right here. And then he doesn't move it past there. So he may need a tail amputation in the future too. This guy just has all kinds of issues. Um, he is pretty happy for everything he has going on and he's eating on his own and I gave him another shot for the mange today, so we're just going to keep giving him supportive care until he's a little older, and then we'll eventually start fix fixing all of his surgical issues. So.
just waiting and giving him time right now. We'll update you in a few more days. All right, I have good news. Here's old Mangy Max. It's been about a month since I gave you the last update. Um, not exactly, but almost a month. But he's doing good. His tail was just covered in scabs. He did lose the very tip of it, um, but it's healing up nicely. We're not going to have to amputate it. Um, the other thing we were worried about was this eye. Bring that camera in closely. Um, the eye has made a, a great improvement. It's really healing up nicely. I don't think we're going to have to ever remove that eye. I don't know if he'll be able to see very well out of it, but he's doing great. He had really bad scabs on his feet and we trimmed those, the hair off that the scabs were stuck in. And uh, so everything's looking really good. His ears were the worst part and he just has scabs at the very end of them now. So still has that hernia down here um, right on his belly, which we're not going to worry about for a while. Um, we'll probably fix that at the time of his neuter when he's a little older. Do you remember when he was little? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Was he pretty sick when we first got him? Uh, yeah. Yep. This is Max. It has been about a month since I gave you the last update and he's a little wild man. He's 100% healed. The only thing left is his umbilical hernia, which we're not going to worry about for another few months. Um, but let me here, stand up real quick. I'm going to bring him close to the camera. He looks 10 times better than he did the first time, really a hundred times better than he did the first time we got him. Um, he's running around like a little crazy man, just like a totally normal puppy. He has no scabs anywhere else on him. Um, his tail, all the hair came back so he doesn't have a little rat tail at the end anymore. He is just a healthy, happy little puppy. So pretty good success story with Max at least. Um, and uh, yeah, he's, he's gonna make a perfect little pet the rest of his life. He already has a home, one of our clients has adopted him so we will get to watch him as he grows up and I'll probably make another video for him as soon as he uh, whenever he gets the neuter and we fix his umbilical hernia. To prove that Max's new owner loves him she has him his own little travel bag as well as some goodies because he's spending the night over at my house tonight. Let's see what else we got. You want this? You want that? All of his treatments and medications were originally funded by our internet donations um, but after he was adopted by one of my clients, she liked everything that we did so much that she went ahead and paid for all of his bills. Um, she donated enough to cover all of his bills and expenses and everything. So we get to use oh, all of those. What is this? That's a big blanket with a bunny head on it, it looks like. So we get to use all of the money that we had initially used on him um, for some other dog now. So I thought that was very nice Look. of her to do that. More stuffed animals. <laughs> and wanted to say thank you, Marta, for donating enough to um, treat Max as well as treating others. So thanks for watching Vet Ranch. We'll see you next time.